Let's now get you the story from India where the famous Shirdi temple is facing a rather unique problem. A problem of having too many coins. The temple has so many coins that banks seem to be running out of space. Some banks have refused to take the coins. How can coins cause such chaos? How will the banks deal with this? The Sri Sai Baba Sansan Trust of the famous Shirdi temple is dealing with this problem. Shirdi in Western India is considered to be the home of Shirdi Sai Baba. The saint's home, which was located in a small village, has now been turned into a holy pilgrimage site where devotees from all over the world come to pray. The Shirdi temple is known for receiving massive donations. It is considered to be one of the richest temples in India. The holy site receives nearly over $40 million in donations each year. And now this has started to cause a bit of a problem. From over a dozen banks where the Temple Trust holds an account, four of them have refused to take money in the form of coins. The banks collectively have over $1.3 million in coins, all deposited by the Temple Trust. This is a case of space crunch. As the coins have a certain weight compared to notes and take up more space than any other form of currency. So what will the Temple Trust do now? Knowing that a majority of the donations will keep coming in coins, the Trust plans to contact the Reserve Bank of India and seek an intervention. The Trust will open accounts in other parts of the country. Can the Temple restrict its donation to only notes? Well, the answer is no, as many of the devotees prefer to donate in coins. Also, Indians consider the one rupee coin as auspicious. And why is that? According to Hindu mythology, metal is believed to be of special significance as far as Goddess Lakshmi is concerned, as it comes from the earth. So Indians always add a one rupee coin while donating, as the number one signifies a beginning, in place of the number zero, which represents the end. So how has the temple been dealing with the donations? A personnel from each bank where the trust holds an account sends its own personnel to the temple every month to gather deposits. But in 2019, banks raised an alarm about the bags of coins creating an issue. So how did the temple solve the issue back then? The temple trust might have taken the problem a bit too casually and told the banks to store the coins inside the temple premises itself. The banks had to reject the offer as the rules do not permit such a casual arrangement to store the deposits. A temple which welcomes flocks of over 50,000 devotees receives more than $30,000 in coins each month, might not be able to limit how many bags of coins it receives. Will the Temple Trust manage to rope in more banks? Will Shirdi flip a coin to decide if it wants to stop the coin donations? We will have to wait and watch. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.